how to use the unique function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this function explain video series, I'm going to talk about the unique function. I'm going to talk about all the parameters and I'm going to talk about different scenarios where you can use the unique function. Let's get started. The best way to learn a function is to apply it and in this tutorial, I'm going to apply the unique function in different scenarios. So for that, write equal to and then write unique. Here is our unique function. Remember, you can access unique function if you are using Excel 2021 and M365. Okay. And unique function returns unique value from a range or array. It's quite similar to the remove duplicate option. Okay. So we have a feature in data tab that will help us remove duplicate. And here in this function, we can do the same thing. We can remove all the duplicates and get a list of unique value. Okay. This is an array function and it will give you an entire list. So if I double click here, here is our parameters. The first parameter is array. Select the range from where you want the unique value. So if I select all the names here, so that is our array. And here the second parameter and the third parameter is optional. So if I close parenthesis and press enter, it will still work. Okay. So if I press enter now, we get a list and as it was an array function it has written all the list and it has automatically selected the range that will occupy the unique value okay now let's check a different scenario here write equal to and then write unique select the range again the second parameter by column that i am not working right now i'm going to check the third parameter so i'm going to add another comma and this parameter which says exactly once okay and it has two function which is true and false false is by default and if i select true it will return all the values that is listed only once which is not repeated anywhere okay so i'm going to select true and close parenthesis and press enter these are the names which was not repeated anywhere in this list twice okay so these were written only once so if you check kazita sadduk and you can see it is only listed here and it is listed only once there is no repetition so using the third parameter we can extract only one occurrence so this function can be an excellent opportunity to find out if you have a repeated customer or not if you have only one customer visited your shop only once you can extract that list also okay and as the unique function is working row by row and you can see we have selected all these rows and it has given us unique values from all these rows what if you have data in columns okay so here is the scenario we have name in this row and in different column we have different name i want to find out unique value from this list which is not vertical which is horizontal so i'm going to write here unique double click here and you can see it is asking for me select the array i'm going to select the array here okay now the second parameter is by column by default this parameter is set to false which is why unique function always looks to the next row okay but in this time we have an exception and we want the unique function to find unique value from different columns this is why we are going to double click here and we have set the second parameter to true and if i close parenthesis and press enter these are the names that are unique you can see here and now if i remove this and let's write the unique function with the column feature and with the third parameter also in this example i'm going to write here unique our range will be this one add comma i'm going to select true and i'm going to find only one occurrence of these names okay that means the customer who have visited your shop only once no repetition so i'm going to select here true also this is the full three parameter in action so we have first parameter array which is selected here we have the second parameter which is to specify if you want to look for column or row and which is active right now is true and the third parameter is also active which is we are going to find only one occurrence of a certain name and if I close parenthesis and press enter, we have our names that doesn't repeat it in this list. Okay. So this is how you can use the unique function in Microsoft Excel. This is a great alternative of removing duplicate values because if you remove duplicate, all the values will be removed. And using the unique function, you can also keep the original list and you can also get the unique list from your data set. 
this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching